In five minutes, I'm going to show you how to turn your Acer Aspire 5 into a beast of a laptop by upgrading the SSD and the RAM using the parts they give you in the box. This is our Acer Aspire 5 fully open, and this is all the internals. If you're wondering, and you, if you're wondering, how do I upgrade the SSD or install my own SSD or a hard drive separately that's not going to be upgrading just the onboard memory here with the NVMe drive? It's simple. It's simple. You, they give you the kit, so you get everything there. You want to make sure you attach it very well. And what I've learned is there is a screw here. You might be asking yourself, where, where would I install it? So actually, you will install it right here. There is a space for it. There's holes. There's mounts. They give you screws for it. Let's put it inside. So first step, you insert it in. And I've already in uh, I've already attached the controller, and there's holes right there that are gonna align. There's also uh, there's also little holders so it won't move around as much. And you just take your screws and put it in. But before you screw this in, I want you I want to just show you. How do you install this to your motherboard? So on the Acer Aspire 5 A515-46R14K model, which is the newer model, the 2021 edition, they don't have a... I couldn't find anything anywhere online about how to install a separate drive. Even though they give you the, the bay, they give you the screws, I couldn't find anything. How do you attach this to your motherboard? And after some research, actually after just looking around and trying to figure it out, I figured it out and I'm going to show you how to install this easily all in one place. So this is your wireless card. So this is your Intel wireless card. You have enough space to install it. You're going to be pushing it in. Into place. You want to make sure it is really snug in there. And there we go. So now we are clipped in. We're going to be closing our... And this is fully set in. It's not going to move. We're going to do that. And install our screw back. And this is why you want magnetic screwdrivers when you do computers. Or any type of electronics. It just makes life a lot easier. We'll screw this in. And our hard drive is now ready to be installed into place. Now that we've installed it, we are all set. We have upgraded our RAM here. So, so this computer came with four gigabytes of RAM installed. We've added 16 to boost it up to 20 gigabytes of RAM. This computer came with a 128 gigabyte NVMe solid state drive right here. And we've upgraded that by adding in a SSD drive right here. Now the RAM, the first RAM stick is soldered on and that's why you can only upgrade one, one RAM stick into the Aspire 5. You only have one RAM bay because the other RAM is soldered on. And if you want, you can always upgrade the, the NVMe SSD. You can upgrade that and then just mirror um, your data and your operating system just so you can replace this instead if you didn't want to do it the physical larger drive here because this adds weight right this adds a little bit of weight now overall this should be closer to five pounds than 4.7 which what which it weighed before i installed the ssd and the hard and the ram stick so let's put it back all together installing back our cover and so here's me, I'm just putting all the screws back and I'm going to show you that the installation worked perfectly. We upgraded our RAM. So right here, you'll notice that our RAM has been increased to 20. And we've increased it to 20. And we've upgraded our hard drive. You can see we have our, our drive. We just did a crystal disk check. Uh, we have a read speed of 536 and a write speed of 475. That's great. So we are fully installed. We've tested it. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. 